Well hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, hope you are having a fantastic week. Today we're going to do another small business feature shout out. We're going to be doing Strange Cult. Today we're going to dive into Strange Cult's pricing, their sizing and how they fit on at least my feet for example, and their quality. We'll also go through all the shoes that I currently have. I even got a new pair recently, so we're going to unbox that one together. And we're just going to have a good old fashioned time going through what I think about Strange Colt. So let's begin, shall we? I first discovered Strange Colt a couple of months ago. I think actually I discovered them through Kelly Eden and she had some pastel shoes and I was like, oh. I don't really care about pastel shoes, but cool, they look cool. And then I do believe the collab with Dre Rene, uh, if you know who that is, I think I'm saying her last name wrong, but sorry Dre, <laughs> um, she did a collab with them and that's kind of when I was like, oh, they do some superior Bugatti shoes and I never really bit the bullet to buy them until Unique Vintage. Unique Vintage was having a superb Halloween sale and if you watched that video, you know I got these particular pair of flats for a super discounted price versus what you could buy for it off of their website. So I decided, hey, this is my opportunity to see what Strange Cult is all about and I have not looked back since. They are fantastic in my opinion. So these are the first pair of shoes I ordered from them. They just say dead with red glittery writing. I think when I reviewed these, I thought that they were just okay. So my problem with these initially was that in the dead you could see some reference is uh, as to where they wanted to stick them on. So they had like this white chalky looking stuff on the shoes. It has definitely diminished since I bought these. You can still see it, but honestly, I don't think you would notice unless you pointed it out. You know, that kind of thing where you don't really the flaws there until someone else points out to you and you're like, wow, I can't unsee it now. Thanks for that. For me, their flats do fit true to size, maybe like a half size too small. My feet are what I refer to as Donald Duck feet. They are wide, especially by my toes, and then they kind of trail off. Donald Duck feet. My feet. I have really small feet, they're size 7, and yeah, they're just really uh, <laughs> wide. And I also have a really high like top of the foot, like it's not a high arch, it's just like my foot is like really fat, <laughs> so I, a lot of times I have a hard time with the top of shoes uh, hurting my foot, but obviously these are flat, so there, there's nothing here to like rub on the top of my foot. So these I think fit pretty well, and they do stretch out. And just for reference, I did get these in a size 8. If they had a 7.5, that one would probably would have also fit, but an 8 worked well, so like I said, um, if you have like normal slender slender if you have slender to like normal uh size feet then you can probably buy your normal size but if you have wide feet like me you might want to go to the next size up whether that's a half size or a full size and um yeah i went to an eight uh, i think these were like i think i'm over 36 dollars i don't know if these particular ones are still available so let's move on to the next pair of shoes i got from them these I bought pretty recently. Um, they are super fun and glittery. I'm not used to wearing shoes that aren't just like black, mostly black at least. So these are definitely a change for me, but I couldn't resist the uh, holographic, like iridescent glitter on them. And honestly, I'm definitely bringing these to Disney World in October if I can go. So you best believe I'll be wearing these there. And I've tried these on, and I think that they fit super well. Um, to refresh my mind, what size did I get? I got my normal size, size 7, and I say that they, they do fit really well. Again, I have wide feet, and even though these are kind of like Converse style, they definitely fit fine for my wide Donald Duck feet. The only thing right now that I have to work on is just wearing them more, so that way I can get the top part a little bit more, uh, you know, like broken in because it's kind of stiff right now but it doesn't actually hurt that much so if you ever like bought boots or doc martens or something like that like they're really really rough and you definitely are going to get blisters on your feet uh these i don't think are that rough so 
I still would want to wear socks at the beginning for up here, but I'm not so worried about getting some nasty blisters or cutting into my skin by wearing these. So thank you Strange Cult for not making them uh, super stiff so that way you can wear them right off the bat versus uh, having to baby and break them in. I did get these on sale. They do have quite a bit of sales, so I will mention that uh, for you. Um, I got these with a the code FB20. They might have a different one now, but that's how I got 20% off of these shoes was just by stalking different accounts of theirs, like Facebook or Instagram. And a lot of times if you hunt, you can find a discount code for their items. So just be a little investigator and hunt for those coupon codes because they do have them. Uh, their shoes are like somewhat expensive, but I think you are paying for good quality shoes. You're not overspending just for like an aesthetic, I guess you could say. So I do think that their price ref reflects their quality, at least from the pairs that I have purchased and from reviews I've also seen, I think people uh, agree for the most part. So just to recap before I unbox my brand new pair, I do think that their quality is good. Um, there was that minor flaw with the dead flats that I mentioned, but that's a really small minor thing and it doesn't really bother me uh, that much. So next, they do have a lot of product launches and what's nice is they also do pre-orders so that way if you do like a style of theirs, as long as you catch them on their pre-order, you are guaranteed that shoe. Um, and then they also give you the pre-order dates so that way you know when your item's supposed to be shipped so you're not just kind of left in the dark being like well, pre-ordered and when it's supposed to ship. I don't know. They make it very, very clear when you buy it. They put it right in the title. They don't just hide it in the description somewhere. It's right there for you to see, and I do really appreciate that. I also appreciate they have a variety of shoe styles. Not everyone is into tennis shoes. Not everyone's into flats or sandals. They have a nice variety for everybody. Another thing I like about them is they don't just make black goth shoes. They make a variety of color combos if you're a green and black person, a orange and black person, a purple and black person, a purple, white, and black person, a pastel goth person. They have a variety of color schemes and I really like that. Now let's go on to sizing. I think I kind of mentioned it pretty clearly in the shoes that I've ordered so far, but it just depends on the shoe. So if you're buying any kind of tennis shoe, I think you're pretty good with the size that you normally are, but if you are a wider foot person like me in the flats, and we guess we'll find out in the sandals because that's what I'm unboxing next year, um, if you should size up a size or half a size. They also are, are very responsive on their Instagram, so if you have a question about what sizing you should get, if you pop in your question there, they are very good at responding back to you saying, get the next size up, stay at your size, all that stuff. So if you do have a specific question about your own feet, they are very, very good at answering questions on Instagram. Let's get to the unboxing. So here are the sandals that I ordered and you're just gonna have a little moment when you see the beauty of these sandals. At least I hope they're as cool as they are in person as they are online because they look pretty stinking cute online. So the price for these Ready? Betty Bat sandals in the color black were $45 and then I got them for $9 off with my FB20 discount code. And then shipping was $8, so it's kind of like I got free shipping, really. So it turned out to be $45 with shipping for these sandals. So here is uh, what the box looks like. Their boxes always look like this. I don't know if there's a special edition box that they ever have, but normally it's black with uh, their logo in red. And then here, you can see the sandal and the sizing, what it looks like, kind of like how you would normally in a shoe store if this was actually put out on this display in a shop. This is probably the size of the side where they would show you it. Wow, English, where are you going? I need you. Come back. I need to talk. I don't know any other language, so I need you. <laughs> this is what their uh, tissue, tissue issue paper it looks like. So for everything I've ever bought from them, it's put in these little mesh sleeves for protection. And 
Oh my gosh, they put this little like styrofoam thing here so that way you could protect the uh, thong part of the flip-flop. You guys. <laughs> oh, so cute. Look at the little bat. Can you see it? Does that help? Look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. I'm a little worried about my foot, um, but normally flip-flops uh, are too slender for me. So my foot normally spills over the sides. Oh no, my tummy rumbled. Did you hear that? Let's free the other guy here from its little compartment. Watch out. They're so cute and they are... They feel pretty padded so it's not just like you're stepping on a piece of really uh, uncomfortable wood or something like that. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so excited to wear these. Um, in the summer. It's summertime now. So bust out your flip flops and your swimsuits to stay inside and not go out. So I just tried on these sandals. I'll make sure to insert a clip of me wearing them and I am shocked. They fit my wide feet very very well. So if you also have wide feet I would stick true to size. Um, at least that's what I have learned by putting these on. And uh, my feet do spill over it just a skosh over the sides, but that's typical for my feet and I'm kind of used to it. So that's just the life I live with my feet flowing over the sides of flip-flops. One thing I will definitely give them a hundred percent, a thousand percent, a billion percent praise on is they made this strap part wide enough for my feet to fit. If you are a wide foot person like myself, you will thank the heavens that they did that because a lot of times I can't wear flip-flops for the fact that my foot can't get past even these little straps and they made them wide enough. So thank you. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. Okay, I think I've uh, said it all I can about these particular pair of flip-flops, but I think this video has gone on um, for quite a while. Hopefully I explained everything thoroughly. I feel like I was more jumbly in this video than I was with my last one being all about Blackthorn LA. Go check it out if you want to see some very cute gothy loungewear. But hopefully um, I covered everything that you would want to know about Strange Cult. Do I recommend them? Hell yeah! Definitely! Hell yeah! I would recommend. <laughs> Hopefully you can afford a pair of their shoes. I know they are kind of like in the medium price range, like they're not like Killstar, <laughs> like Killstar expensive, but they're not like Shein expensive. You know, they're kind of in the middle, but I do think you're paying for what you're getting. If you have any questions about my experience with Strange Colt and um, anything else that I may have missed, please let me know. Um, I don't know. What else is there to say? Um, I think they have really good guest service. They ship things out very quickly. Um, yeah, that's, I don't know. If you have any other questions, please let me know down below. I'm going to uh, do other stuff with my day. So until next time, I hope you guys have an awesome It's Spooky Week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!